we will come back. So we were looking at output group and we talked about aggregate output, business cycle, recession and depression. Now I want to look at expansion or boom. Expansion or boom. I believe um, some meaning come to mind. It's a period in the business cycle from a drop, that is from a down. When things are not going on so well, it gets to a minimum and at that point it starts rising. So that is expansion. So the period between the drop to the peak during which output and employment grows. And we have contraction or slam or recession. The period in the business cycle from a peak, that is from the topmost where there has been an expansion to its apex. When it starts coming down, it is called contraction. So at that point, output and employment falls. So let's look at um, an example of a, a diagrammatical illustration of a business cycle. As you can see here, in this business cycle, the economy is expanding as it moves from point A, from point A here, from point A to the peak. Because it's rising up, the economy is expanding. So this is the expansion part. When the economy moves from um, the peak to the trough, this is the trough. So if it moves from the peak to the trough, that it means that the economy is recessing. So this is a recession part. So recession means falling, expansion means rising. Yeah. So that is a, a diagrammatical illustration of a business cycle. Let's move on. So looking at the output growth. Output growth. This is um, an example retrieved from US aggregate outputs in 1900 to 2007. The period of Great Depression. US experienced a period of Great Depression. It is from this Great Depression, as I mentioned earlier, John Mayard Keynes introduced macroeconomics. So as you can see, this is the years and this is output. So as the years went by, output grew, it falls somewhere, it grows, it falls somewhere in that manner. So this is a diagrammatical illustration of what happened between the year 1900 to 2007 in US. Okay, the next macroeconomic concern is unemployment. I believe you've heard of unemployment before. Unemployment. We'll go deep into all these. This is just an introduction. So unemployment is a situation where you are well able to work and you are even looking for a job but not finding one. It means you are unemployed. So he's looking for a job, he says hire me, but he's not finding one. Unemployment rate. Anytime you hear rates, what comes in mind is percentage. So unemployment rate is the percentage of the labor force that is unemployed in a country. Alright, so let's look at the US economy again since 1970. So we have the, the years on the x-axis and the unemployment rate on the y-axis. So the unemployment rate is a bit undulating. It rises up, falls, rises up, falls in that manner. But as at um, 2000 and let's say 2006 gets into 2007, the unemployment rate in US came down, which is something good. Right. So this is just to show you for for recessionary reference period the unemployment rate of US. This is the first recession period. Do you remember what recession is? A period where output growth falls. So when there is a high recession, there is a high unemployment, as you can see. When recession goes high, unemployment goes high also. When, when there is a recession, unemployment goes high in, in, in that manner. So, if there is an expansion, what happens to unemployment? 
unemployment will go down. Right. I would let us end here and continue the other slides in the next video. Thank you.